Find a special. Let us out. We're trapped and... Wait. You're with the Empire. Talk fast or I'm leaving. Wait. Don't go. Open the door. We don't care about the Republic. We just want out. <laughs> Carry it to him. Better not care about the Republic. Run before I change my mind. The Republic was wrong about you. Thanks. No, I went them in there. The mines are poisoned. The Republic's running scared. Excellent work. You also did a fine job raising their emplacements. My forces will have no trouble cleaning up your scraps. Our next move is to hit the Republic again. Hard. <laughs> Send him in, quickly. Grag is a leader of the Hut Cartel. He keeps repulsive company, but he's proven a valuable ally. Why is a Hut working with the Empire? You could say Grag was forced to cooperate. He's here to make amends for the three families. A band of venom-sniffing hucks. They violated the cartel's neutrality to help the Republic's mining operation on Quesh. Such favoritism deeply upset the Empire. The cartel claimed ignorance and disowned the three families. I'm sure they took kickbacks from the three families and looked the other way. You're probably right. To make amends, the cartel sent Grag, one of their finest leaders, to help us punish the three families. Grag, you finally grace us with your presence. Let me introduce the Empire's greatest weapon on Quesh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Jedi. The three families won't be vulnerable until we sever their income. Are you ready to kill these Jedi and cripple the Republic's adrenal production? Of course, whatever you say. Don't get too excited. Greg, have your army hold the factories. Don't allow the Republic a second's rest. Cut down the Jedi defenders. Then either destroy the adrenal production lines or kill the Selkath scientists operating them. The scientists are just doing their job. I'll cripple their equipment. If that's your choice, just don't return until those factories have ground to a halt. The Republic soldiers that killed your squad are no longer a threat. I've called headquarters for reinforcements. Next squad should be here soon to hold the place. But we couldn't have secured it without you. Can't thank you enough. Payback is satisfying. What does Barris think he's doing, sending you here after me? Is he trying to make it look good? Give himself an alibi? Because you can tell him mission accomplished. I will. Almost all of my men are dead. You've done a great job making this look legit. Now back off! I do not understand you. We're on the same side, idiot! These are my senior officers. We all defected over a decade ago and have been working for Barris since. What? But wait. You didn't know this? He didn't tell you we were following his command? It must have slipped his mind. Things don't slip that man's mind. Every expression is a deliberate act. Surely you can see how foolish this is. Our covers are intact. We can make an incredible difference for him in the war. Why would he order our deaths? But, uh... This is the eventual fate of every spy, Admiral. I suppose you're right about that. But he can't think that we're going to take this lying down. Men, our master has decided we're expendable. Let's prove otherwise. Nah, you are. Oh shit, is he uh... Oh crap. Alright, lucky I've got Pierce. You get him, I'll take out these guys. I think. Oh, wrong button. That's gonna suck. 
Alright. You happy? I'm using my relics. Whatever. As long as Pierce takes the aggro. He's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the combat. Yeah, he, he's about to drop. Pierce, that is. Alright, I'll take over from here, Pierce. You did well. Ow, this guy hurts. Ah, oh, I was hoping for the double stab to finish him off. Okay, let's just get him up and then heal up quick About in case. Time I got some air. Because as we all know, they have a habit of getting back up and fighting. I pity you, his blind obedient lapdog. No one's safe with Barris. Not even you. Comes with the territory. I hope he dies a painful death. You have the formula samples? Oh. Please tell me you have them. It is in my possession. Here, my command's entire recreational spending allocation. Please excuse me, I... I should really see to securing these. <laughs> I just spoke with Greg. He said you shut down the factories and the fight's under control. Well done. Thank you. Without adrenals or their Quesh Venom supply, the Republic is finally vulnerable. We must hit the three families with everything we have. Slay the hut slime. Their secrets die with them. The Republic can't process Quesh Venom. And they'll be pushed to the brink of galactic war. All we must do is kill the leaders of the three families. Violence is not always the answer. We have no choice. Showing the three families mercy weakens our position. So? Colonel, wake Portho the Hut from whatever adrenal addled haze he's drowning in. Prove your worth, Portho. There must be another entrance. I love that performer. <laughs> I'd rather not be comatose in the middle of a firefight. We'll take your recommendation under advisement, Portho. Use your adrenals. When you awake, you'll be the only surviving member of the three families. You heard the fool. Either fight through the front or take Porthos adrenals and be smuggled in. Your choice. <sighs> Either way, I have to fight, don't I? It's not even a light side, dark side choice. I'm really curious about the safest path, because I know what direct fight is, but uh, let's see where this takes me. I'll take the hut's concoction. Best to save my energy for the fight inside the palace. Northern Kells hiding out behind the palace grounds. Security should be light during the battle. Take that Shevin's adrenal to infiltrate the palace. Once inside, kill the leaders of the three families, including Portho. Then transmit their data on Quesh Venom processing to me. Inject me, hurry. I'll know if something's missing.
este caminho. Matias o atuaria e dia que leva dias é Matusa da minha honra que está aí da mente e que te assura se de baixar me. Conchuta caso já lhe coira do cantico na sabucubas caja bacatun bongo. Calm down. The three families must remain united. You're vital to the Republic's mission. Do I have to ignite my lightsaber to get your attention? True. Silence, Jilta. If you value your power, bring me the intruders. I've always wanted to see a hot fight. Ugh. Then he'll surrender, you watch. Oh, and leap! Why can't I leap? There we go. Why don't we try and find weapons? Ah, oh, he won't die. Okay. Uh oh. Get him. Need a med pack. Yeah, you're gonna die, aren't you, Pierce? Better take cover. I'll help you out a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Ah, oh, he lived. I'm not even warmed up. Just do a trick to get him off. Alright, where's the second one? Yeah. This is taking a beating. Better interrupt that to help him out a little. Oh, I can't interrupt that one. Some air. Now, come out. Unable to achieve optimal results, my lord. Oh, fail, Quinn. All right. Itulamo ubanjora liba istimbo o kagwa chile oiga na nolio upa kisa spita perupa sayadumbi nuava diguna 
Chino Nintendoki. Three families. Where's the third hut leader? Nesumurgoba. Omogendusta Parawanga. Domicha Kulka. Domaji. Naus Azalas Umal. Chumanoi Ke Nana. Shapkisa Branga Unanupa Ye. Hand over the adrenals, and we're even. Oh, wala wanga, tuske yu wala ma, da blota wi jawa. Na biska kurbaliya, bindi yi bodenya. How was that a light side choice, honestly? I either take drugs, or I kill him. <laughs> They're both dark side, in my eyes anyway. Off Drayson. I'm patched in to the hut's mainframe. This is it. Everything the three families knew about processing Quesh Venom. We can erase the Republic's head start in minutes. As it should be. The Empire owes you much. Thanks to you, the Republic is quickly losing control of Quesh. I see you've killed Gilda and... Portho? You're still alive? Foolish slug. I suppose we can use him after we fix his adrenal habit. <laughs> but our fight's not over yet. No. We have a hut on the loose. Broga, yeah. the last leader of the three families. He escaped before your assault. As if losing that hut slime wasn't enough, we have a new problem. A powerful Jedi master named Beren Fral just landed on Quesh. Fral was talking to the huts when I arrived. He didn't appreciate the interruption. You must have scared him. Master Fral is wasting no time. He's already amassing forces with Broga the Hut. Slay them both, and the Republic's stranglehold on Quesh will crumble. They will bow to my power, then they will die. Thank you, my lord. Show the Republic how weak they are. Find Master Fral and Broga in the Quesh Venom plant. Tear the facility apart. Make sure they don't leave the place alive. Oh, what's going on here? Looks like we got a wet assault. All of that security just for a blasted crane? Doesn't make sense. Problems, Sergeant? Oh, uh, uh, yes, my lord. I have encountered a surprising amount of resistance in my assigned task. I'm charged with organizing raids against the Republic's mining efforts. We strike targets of opportunity to slow their progress and drive them to retaliate. They've recently constructed a large crane that I thought would make a perfect target. I sent a team, but security was triple the expected strength. My soldiers were slaughtered. Why would security be so heavy? Clearly, the crane is a very important part of the Republic's operations. Far more than we'd first suspected. The crane needs to be destroyed and the Republic punished. But I just don't have the manpower to go up against so much security. Leave that to me. That's very generous of you. Thank you. You'll find the crane at these coordinates. Good hunting. What the hell? Oh. I had to click on a barricade. I was like, oh, okay. That was random. Alright, sorry I missed that. Uh, it was like a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Like a speaker sort of thing. Uh, it just said that I get these two guys that are going to help me out. That's all you missed. Quiet, Broga. We're not alone. Your strength is impressive, Sith, but no amount of power will take Quesh from the Republic. We're just here to ruin your operation and spark galactic war. The Republic won't take your bait. Not while I breathe. 
Dinga Dwara Kema Chuba, Mia Prancha Muri Ra. True Jedi need only the Force. Okay, let's choke him straight away then. Oh, awesome music. Damn, this guy's going off. I don't know if you can see under the numbers. I think he's really attacking. Let's see if I can get a better camera angle. Keep in mind, I also got a fight. There's the mercenaries finally coming in to help. Well, Pierce is dead. Wow, that guy hits like a truck. Lord. Can I kill it? No. Okay. Oh. Watch your step, Jedi. I was bad out. Ula Ula, Bucha, Nicha, Wajoto, do that beta. Ninga Ninga Kituita, Nemo Tan move Ayola, Tan Quekuta. The Empire could use a loyal servant like you, Broga. Compulia do Boto to one of one keys, Nemo. The crane has been destroyed, Sergeant. So I've heard. I've been listening in on the Republic's comm channels. They're furious at the loss. You must have done some serious damage. I didn't even break a sweat. It seems the crane was intended to build a powerful shield generator that would have made attacks on the Republic's operation impossible. I shall begin scouting for further targets. Thank you for your help. Without you, our entire mission here might have been dragged to a halt. Master Fral's dead. Broga's still breathing, but is sworn to the Empire. Excellent. I'd prefer the Hut dead, but his cooperation will further infuriate the Republic. You have my thanks, and that of my council. We'd still be fighting over Quesh's minds if not for your help. All in a day's work. Your dedication won't be ignored. And if you're still invested in our war, there's more work to be done. The Republic's still fighting. Help us pile up enough bodies here, they'll retaliate on other planets, then we'll have our war. But first, enjoy your victory. Quesh will soon be ours, and the Republic grows more furious by the day. Apprentice, my master Darth Vengeance is distraught. With his covert attack exposed, the Treaty of Coruscant has been broken. And apparently, Moff Maskin did not survive Admiral Monk's ambush. What happened? He accused us of setting him up and then attacked me, so I killed him in self-defense. Ah, so he was twice the fool. First to falsely suspect us, and then to believe he could defeat you. <sighs> Save the games, Master. Admiral Monk confessed everything. I see. So you'll know he was my minion, and that I orchestrated the ambush and Darth Vengeance plunder. Yep. Don't let this newfound knowledge confuse you. What was the purpose of this? I understand your desire to know more, but I must keep this affair my own for now. All will become clear soon. Now, the final Plan Zero target has been discovered. The hunt for Jedi Knight Zerinder takes you to Hoth. Contact me when you arrive. My lord, I am docked at the space station above Hoth. Very good. Now that Admiral Monk and the War Trust have fallen to your might, all that remains is Jedi Knight Zerinder. Zerinder has dedicated himself to the Republic like no other. He's led our enemies to many cunning victories. Not only is he a symbol of inspiration for the Republic, he's been a thorn in my side for a long time. Do you know what he's trying to achieve here? 
The Chiss traitor you spared confirms Erinda's presence, and has since informed me that the Jedi is seeking a secret superweapon. I can uncover no information about this weapon, only that it was lost in the wreckage of one of the crashed starships from the war. Maybe we can use the Republic's toy against them. Perhaps. If Zerinder wants it, it must be very powerful. His death is the goal, but if the weapon can be salvaged, all the better. Your contact on the surface is Commander Lanklin. He's been tracking Zerinder and should be ready to meet you at the Imperial base. The Commander occasionally bites off more than he can chew, but he's being warned that this mission cannot afford anything less than perfection. Zerinder is the last of your targets. Report to me when you know the nature of the super weapon he seeks. Get this right, apprentice. Hoth. Back in the day, I managed to escape assignment here. It chills my bones just to be in orbit above this frigid planet. Um, yeah, you should <coughs> leave me on the ship. I'm. <coughs> I think I'm fighting off a cold. <coughs> Forget those cowards, my lord. A little snow won't stop me. I'm ready for action. I too would gladly accompany you on this mission, my lord. I wish to see all the galaxy has to offer. No. Oh. Too bad, bit. You can't with me. <laughs>